Welcome everyone, it is me, Jam Sankith. Hope you're all having a great day. And this is back on F1 Championship Edition for the Turkish Grand Prix this time. And this is a bit different. I'm going to think of showing the qualifying classifications if you guys would like to see it. And as you can see, we got into the top 10, but we couldn't do anything with it again. But, you know, we're there in the top 10. You know, it's not a problem. There's the top 10, of course. Alonso on pole, Massa and Schumacher, the championship contenders, both there with the exact same time over the fastest qualifying sessions, as you can see there. But And there, as we go to the end of the field, the two Williams line up together. Uh, and the uh, Toro Rossos are split by Jacques Villeneuve, who got knocked out in Q1 some, for somehow. But anyway, let's get on with the race. We're going to have a one pit stop on lap three, of course. And this is the Turkish Grand Prix. I best turn it up a little, I'm sorry. There we go. The Turkish Grand Prix. Let's get this underway. Hopefully we can have a decent race like we have done before. Yeah, and there's the kite felt. Hopefully we don't have any problems down into turn one. The lights are on and they're out and we're green here in Turkey and we don't make a normal decent you know, a normal flat fast start there. Okay, that was, I've no idea what kicked off there, I really don't, but we're safe, we're safe though, we're running, we've got everything on the car anyway, so I'm happy about that, don't want to hit the back of Nico Rosberg there, so we'll take it steady and try and work his way around him and not run wide like that, so we've got his teammate, the uh, Weber in 13th behind us, and Villeneuve has made a decent start and we've made contact with the Williams of Rosberg. That might be a front wing change when we get to pits. I hope it's not. I'm not that quick through this turn 8 here, guys, so I do apologise. But hopefully we can gain a few places. It's very strange that we drop back on a start anyway. Normally we move forward on a start, but I'm looking forward to the Italian Grand Prix, but this ain't my best track here in Turkey. We're on the back of Rosberg, can we get to his inside? Yes we can. There's engine failure up ahead, we come off track to go offline, and it's a Honda, no it's not a Honda, it's a BMW Sauber. There's a Toyota and a Honda go head to head, Trulli and Rubens Barrichello. I tried to make a pass here on Barrichello, no. I just thought I'd try it, but I, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? But I'm not going to make any moves down here into turn one, of course, because, well, what happened on this opening lap of the race, but uh, anyways. But we know we've got a bit of speed, it's just not enough to win the Grand Prix, of course. But we never have enough unless it's Monaco or France, but that was would have been a good overtake, and I'm going to go up the inside here then since we're in position up into ninth position and we've got to catch Yano Trulli now Yano Trulli in a Toyota scheduled stop next lap and I nearly wiped the front wing off on uh, the Toyota of uh, Yano Trulli just had to check sorry guys but running going to run wide here that's for sure couldn't be note about that Need to try and find the right line through the turn eight, and I couldn't do it in qualifying either. So, got to watch out for this oil here, because we know how, many, how much problems oil has set us back on this track in our career mode so far. And we're on the back of Trulli now. We're going to have him down into this slow hairpin. Yes, we are. We're up into eighth position, but that wasn't good, was it? Could have broke a bit early, but. There we go, we're passing cars, we've got some speed in this Red Bull to pass a few cars and we're into the pot, well Raikkonen pits and there's another engine failure up ahead and it's a Honda, it's Jensen Button, can we nab Montoya here as well? I'm on his outside, we passed one Pablo Montoya into fifth, great work there, great opportunist move there, great Grand Prix so far full of enthusiasm for this one now I'm fired up now after that terrible start that we had we seem to write that now and I'm not sure we're going to finish this probably about 6th if we can avoid the oil 
but we're setting as fast as sector times, even with his damaged front wing, so maybe we found something that could help, you know. But through here, of course, I don't think you can go flat on this game through here, but... Oh, running wide again. That's not good, didn't want to do that, but it's alright, no penalty. Can we get nicely through here? Yes, we can, and through this part, yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful, we're stopping this lap and we've got a Honda out of this Grand Prix, of course. 103.7 in the second sector, that's not too bad. I'm not sure we're going to be able to challenge the Renaults and Ferraris, though, up front around this final few corners, but... But here we go, we come to Mecca's pit stop. Oh, no! Come on, get... No! Whoa, what a... No, that's... Oh man, that's not good. Crashed into the pit exit, that's not... That is not what we would have wanted. Um, I'll take it anyway. So Alonso wins, Massa second, Schumacher third and we're out. So we haven't finished every Grand Prix this season, let's hope it's only one time that we crash out. That's not... Oh, there we are, come on. We would have even got ahead of Riker as well because he, he didn't finish. Oh, oh no. But anyway. We, we, we're there at, Mon at Monza next time out. Massa and Schumacher are 10 points difference between them now in the championship. We're there in eight, still decently placed in the championship. Villeneuve gets his first points of the season. Williams will move up. Renault have moved closer to Ferrari, but not enough. By enough, I don't think. And where are we? We're fifth in the standings yet, yeah, that's fine by me. And oh, can you believe it guys? We're out of we're out of the Turkish Grand Prix. Let's see what they're gonna be shouting with us out there. Poor drive. Yeah. I didn't expect to hit the pit wall, I wasn't really focusing. Oh there's an advert for Honda F1. Let's see how this is is it gonna be please be a race seat, please be a race seat. Okay, I'm take. Uh, yes, I'm going to take it. Yep, I am going to sign for Honda F1. We have a team now that's capable of racing and winning Grand Prix consistently. We have accepted a B, uh, not BMW, a Honda F1 team drive here. I did not expect that. It did say first driver, right? Let's have a look, player starts, first driver, that's for Red Bull at the minute, but let's have a look, um, season result, no that's not going to be anything, as you can see there's the Monaco Grand Prix and the French Grand Prix where we both won, hopefully we can win more now, but, uh, let's have a look, news, Honda F1, please say it is number one driver, that's really what I hope it is. I accepted a Honda F1 drive. Honda F1, they have offered you the position of first driver for this season. Yes, that's brilliant. But when is it? Until. I, I don't think it's going to be until the end of... It's going to be until the end of the season, so we're not going to be racing long for them. But the Italian Grand Prix might be his last race with Red Bull. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. And for the Italian Grand Prix, so thank you, and enjoy this last race that I'm going to have for Red Bull. Thank you.